They have a 1932 Ford V8 grill. First V8 ever made. Let me cross this to one of my picks. Got the grill bezel. Got kind of a chip away from it, but it can be repaired. It actually was, it's like twerked the entire way. You can see how the grill bars are bent here. They need to be straightened out. You can see right here, there's like a flare. I don't know, something got dropped on it or something at some point in this life. You can see the like residue of reddish orange paint all over it, red. Then when you turn it, like you got more maroon color here. Might be the Ascot if it's the original paint. You got more of the red paint up in here. Red paint in the longest rim you can see. It could be that Ascot color, that early Ascot color, but I don't know. It's got six bullet holes. One, two, three, four, five. And the sixth one caught it here on the chrome piece. Has the original bezel. You see here where these rib bars are all straight up here, but it's like completely twerked around here. Completely rotated. It can't be fixed. You'd have to, you just gotta take it all apart, straighten it out, make a project out of it. That's the original radiator button flare thingy there. Turn it around. I don't really think you can see it, but. Now you can see off in there. I just got done cleaning it off, so this bottom part's still a little wet. I got some dust on it from sitting around for so long. Maybe you can get a better idea of that color I'm talking about here on the back side of this, you see. I don't know who did this. I kind of, I don't know if Ford would do it like that or not back in the day. You can see remnants of that reddish paint there. I don't know if they painted, someone painted the grill bars at some point. You can see like the stainless or the rustless. The Ford rustless steel. It's been away. Ain't really no pitting on this piece. Which is good. If you're on the bezel, it's in pretty darn good shape, I think. It's got just some light, 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 light pitting on it. Not much of it. The emblem itself is in pretty good shape. See up inside. You can see they always used the flatheads back in the day. Flatheads, flathead, flathead. Here you have flathead, three flathead screws holding in the bezel. Three flathead screws holding in the bezel. You have one more screw holding it in right there. It's in a better spot, so it's it's pretty clean right that one. Those are rusty pretty good with the square. Square bolts. You can see here where this is the chrome trim piece. I'm not really sure what these bolts are for. I guess that's where they attach. It's a cool piece. Super happy to come across it. Probably put it up for sale. Um, might just hang on to it for a while and see what kind of offers come my way on it. So you can make me an offer on it. If I have it. I mean, this is this is April 2014, the 9th or the 10th. So, I don't know. If a good offer comes along, I'll probably just take it. Sweet piece. 
can't believe I actually come across one of the earliest fours. <laughs> the first V8. Freaking grill. I don't think I mentioned it, but it looks like it's got a, a twerk to the entire piece. Like something was dropped on it at some point in the scrapyard or somewhere. See on this view, you can kind of see it. You can see how it bent right there at the middle there. You can definitely see it. Like I'm holding it straight up at one point. But it's got a major twerk in it. Major twist. I guess that's the hood latch. See those little spots there on the bolts? Almost looks like this spot might have had another bullet hole in it. Again, that reddish paint there. Could be original, I, I don't know. I, I can't I can't claim that. There is some of it right there. It was definitely a red car. I don't think I don't know if anyone doing it themselves would would paint this right here. Or if only Ford would paint that. I don't I don't know. Sweet peace. Thanks for watching. The Bunny Clyde.